the game, even at his size, and that's what you want. Um, and he wasn't afraid of the challenge. I didn't have to beg him. I mean, I recruited him for three weeks. And I said, I'm hearing about you being a four-year point guard. If you think you're here four years, don't come here. He said, I'm coming. How was it do for your guys when he's, you know, he's out there, he takes a shot, he's bleeding from the face, and some of the guys said that, that kind of gets you fired up a little bit. The littlest guy out there is having that experience. I don't know. I, I was happy for him. You know, I was disappointed for Andrew because I just, you know, I know how good Andrew is. And all these kids, you know, you want them all to perform. Like, Dakari couldn't get anything to the basket, but he got like nine rebounds. But he is so much better offensively than he showed today. Um, you know, we had so many turnovers, and, and most of them, some of them were force body to body stuff, but most of them were just like a look away, a rifle pass, a, you know. But um, that's the most turnovers we've had. Um, but again, we guard. We really, we played defense and we, we didn't let him get to the rim. We made him take a lot of jump shots, which was what our game plan was. We played pick and roll different than we had played it all year. We backed up our big man and just went back in the lane and said, we're going to let you take jump shots. Um, but it's, uh, it was a good win on the road. I mean, it's a, it was a physical game. I mean, it, it was, you know, and it was a good game. I really clamped out on teams defensively so far this year. Did you see this coming start? I didn't. Look, I, my thing in these games, and I told our team, I don't know how the other team's playing. I just know how I want us to play. Um, we, our players, unless they watch games, we watched tape this morning, this afternoon. We didn't show them a whole lot of Louisville tape. We're worried about us. Let's just be the best version of us. Let's be the best we can be. If that's not good enough, we move on to the next game. I kept telling them, guys, it's Christmas. This isn't the end all game. Who cares? Let's just go try to play well. Now I know our fans go crazy and, you know, I said win or learn and they go nuts, but it's how I feel. I mean, I didn't. You know, I wanted to win the game, but I wasn't feeling like we have to win this game. You know, it's, we took a great Christmas break. Um, we were going to work out tomorrow, and they begged me to take a day off tomorrow. So I'm going to give them off till 6. Tom Rick said this was your defense is the best he's seen in 40 years. What, what are you, where you're hearing that kind of stuff all season, so we got a lot of guys doing a pretty good job of defending. We can play the ball. We can play behind. I'll tell you who, was, who else was really good today. Trey Lyles. Wow. And that's why I played him as many minutes as I played him. I mean, four assists and nine rebounds and making some jumpers when we were kind of shaky. The only thing we couldn't get our guys to do is I couldn't get them to attack. Devin did it once. Carl did it once. And I'm in the huddles. Don't pull it out. Just keep going. And they, I think, again, they were feeling this game was maybe bigger than I thought it was. I was just telling them play. But, you know, again, I thought Trey played well and Devin made a, a big three. And, you know, same with Aaron. Aaron made a big three in the corner. Is Tyler the one guy that doesn't know better than the littlest guy on the court that seemed to be willing to, to attack them a little bit? No, I, I, I think we got a, a bunch of guys. I've got a good team. I really have a really good team. And uh, I have nine guys I'm going to continue to platoon. I'm not changing. Uh, if a game unfolds like this and I do something different, I'm trying to win the game. I'm going to do it. If one of the guys, like Willie against Texas, plays that well, I'll leave him in. If Tyler played this well or Andrew, then I'm going to let him play. If someone's on fire, I'm not going to take them out. But if they're all playing well, I'd like to play all nine guys. Just play them in a, in a platoon. And let me tell you why platoon. It's easier. I don't have to think how many minutes he's been in. Who's in there? Uh, just four you go. You stay. How easy is that? John, how, several how, how of the ESPN guys are saying uh, if you win this game, you'll be undefeated going into the tournament. Several of them. What do, what do you make of that? And they picked the Germans in World War II also, so I don't know. But, <laughs> I mean, I don't, I'm not. Look, we, the good news is we got another break. I got nine days to get my team right. We got to put in a, a different zone because we're going to face some different things. I want to put in a different rotating press. 
I want to do some different things offensively to try because we have time. And I really want to give Dom and Derek an opportunity to see if they fit into that 10-man rotation, either one. But they have to elevate their games to do that because I'm not taking minutes away from these nine when all nine deserve minutes. If those two raise their game, then we'll go back to playing 10 guys. John, how John, impressive John, is it? Your guys saw this as the last hurdle to, you know. No, there, there was some disappointment. Willie was disappointed. Andrew was disappointed how they played. A Aaron wasn't exactly happy about how he played. The young guys are just happy they won a game. And, uh, that, you know, again, you have to think about this. You're coming in and, and, and you all and everyone else has made this like the end-all game. And these young kids came in here and performed. They, didn't, they weren't rattled. They stayed focused on the court. And the game was physical. That was more physical than the Texas game, and I didn't think that was possible. John, if, uh, if you would have secured a commitment from Emmanuel Moutier, is it safe to assume Euless probably wouldn't be here? If he didn't want to come. Would you have still recruited him? Sure. I have a, a pretty confident team. Here, here's what my issue's been, and I, I've been on these guys. I was hard before the game, and my point was I don't want arrogance. I want a swagger. I don't want arrogance. Arrogance is not earned. Arrogance is I, ha I wear the Kentucky uniform. Don't you know who I am? That's arrogance. A swagger is you work so hard, you spend extra time, um, you have demonstrated performance, Kansas, UCL, you've demonstrated performance. And the third thing is you trust your teammates. Now your team has a swagger. They know they can count on, everybody's countable on the team. I want a team with a swagger. I don't want an arrogant team. And I've been pretty vocal and been on, especially these young guys, because they mumble under their breath. They're like my son. <laughs> what? <laughs> they do a lot of mumbling when you, you coach them and they get aggressive with them. John, how impressive is it in this game that Tyler and Devin can play 54 minutes without a turnover? I haven't looked at that, but that's pretty impressive. I thought Devin did pretty good, too, by the way. I thought he did some good things. We had some dumb fouls. We just grabbed, literally grabbed people. Then they look at me like I didn't do it. I said, I was watching. You grabbed the guy, grabbed his arm. So, but those two played good. John yeah, only had one assist. I mean, is that just you getting in the passing lanes or product of what you were talking about earlier? Oh, we were trying to get them to shoot. Jumpers. Yeah. And then that meant we spread out and we took those passes and they had to take most of the stuff was going to be on the bounce, which means you don't get an assist. Yeah, with all this size, did you expect to be this good defensively? I wasn't sure. Um, but I knew with Willie and Marcus Lee, I didn't know Carl would block shots like he did and does. Um, I didn't know that Trey Lowes could play the three position defensively like he has. He's guarding guards and doing good. Um, I, w I did not think Devin Booker could guard the way he's guarding. I never, I, in high school, he never, he shot every ball. So he didn't, <laughs> he didn't guard much. And I thought that would be the Achilles heel that, and then the other guy was uh, Tyler because of his size, but it hadn't seemed to bother him. John, what was the source of, uh, do you think, of Andrew's problems? Was he trying too hard? Was it something the was doing? They're not machines. They're not computers. I told him, man, I love you. I, I got your back. You're my point guard. Stop it. And he's down. I mean, I, look, these kids, it's not fair being at Kentucky and what goes with it and what the expectations are and how you're every and then everything you do is analyzed and everything you do is it's not fair but it's also not fair when the season ends you're in the green room half the team that's not fair either so i tell them all the time it's part of what you 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 want to do this this is what it is john does this qualify as that punch in the mouth you were looking for what was that does this qualify as that punch that was a punch in the mouth that one was on it about right there <laughs> Are you worried about not being challenged enough for the rest of the season that you can get? Oh, we'll be challenged. You, know, you don't understand. Every game we play is sold out. The students are lined up at 1 o'clock. Every team we play, you might as well not look at stats. We played Columbia. They shoot 21% from the three. Yeah. They made four fours to start the game, and we're down 11 nothing. I mean, we're going to go on the road in hostile environments, and we're going to be challenged. In our league, you know, everybody then wants to say, well, the league. Well, you still have Florida. You still have Arkansas. You still have LSU. You still have Georgia playing well. Our league is fine. I still think we'll get five teams in. Our league, RPI, is number two in the country. Our league's RPI is number two in the country, non-conference schedule. So, 
you know, we'll, we, it'll be fine. And I'll, all I'm looking at is let's keep trying to see where we can take this. I told individual players, world-class athletes are never satisfied. World-class athletes are self-critical. I don't have to criticize. You're, you're self-critical. And the other thing is they always look for small increments. How can I, Tiger, get my drive another four or five yards? How can I make one more putt around? One. How can I do that? Where can I make those small increments? That's world class. And I told these guys, what are you trying to do to add to your game? Just a little bit. What are you trying to do weekly? And I'm keeping them focused on those kind of things. This is, look, I'm having a ball coaching this team. And there's nothing anybody could say or write or do to make me, I'm having, I wake up every morning whistling and skipping. This is the greatest group, and I'll tell you why, selfless. You think about today, I changed up because guys weren't playing as well, but they're all fine. I mean, I got a bunch of guys, and let me say this, I got a bunch of parents too. Think about your son. Your son is a top 10 pick, and he's playing 20 minutes a game in a college. You'd be happy? Oh, you'd be blowing backflips. That'd be so nice. Think about it. Kid's a top five pick. He's playing 20. One game, he didn't get any touches. What? Coach, we love you. Thanks for coaching. Our, I mean, I got the greatest group of kids in Paris. That's why I want to enjoy it. Because let me say this, it's not always like this. And we just happened to, the moon and the stars have connected. Now let's see what we can do with this. Thank you.